We spend so much of our lives at work these days, it's really important that we've got the very best tools to work with. And that's what the Do Chair is all about, to deliver a really fantastic chair at a great value for money. The whole idea behind a chair is to make something that's super simple, both in the materials that we've used and how the chair goes together, but even more so in how you interact with a chair, how you set the chair up um, for your specific body size. We're trying to get the absolute maximum value out of the least amount of physical material that we possibly can. You know, we live in a world where, where resource depletion and climate change is a big issue for us all. Environmentally smart design is really important to, to our team at Orange Box. And the one thing that we can do that makes more impact than anything else is to make our products last as long as possible. One of our ambitions as a, as a design team is for all of our products is for them to, to punch above their weight in terms of the, the value proposition that they offer. So things that you would normally expect to pay for as optional upcharges, such as a height adjustable number and a adjustable seat depth, um, are available on the do chair standard. It goes without saying that people come in all different shapes and sizes. With shared workspaces becoming increasingly common, the need for simple, adaptable seating is more important than ever. So while we've increased the range of adaptability that the chair can offer, we've reduced the complexity of how you interact with a chair. Do is a real user-centered piece of design. We've looked at how people do and how they don't interact with uh, office chairs, and we've stripped away everything that um, doesn't normally get adjusted. The chair is still massively adaptable, but there's no longer a multitude of knobs and levers to have to, to find and interpret to be able to set the chair up to um, what's best for you. Greater adaptability means it's a much better fit for more people, and fewer controls means it's easier to use. We're pretty certain that uh, the key to a healthy and happy workday is movement throughout the day. We're certain there's no one perfect seated position. So the do chair doesn't have a back lock as standard. We've designed the pivot points and the geometry of the back in such a way that if you do want to sit there and work um, upright, typing, the chair back will support you fully um, in doing that, but without the need for that back lock, which can um, stop you moving well, we commonly find that uh, yeah, once a chair is locked, then um, there's a good chance that it never becomes unlocked. Because it's an office chair, first and foremost, the most important thing to us as a design team is that it's super comfortable. And we put a huge amount of effort in trying getting the back shape just right, getting a great adaptable lumbar pad, which actually works. It's designed in from day one, it's not an add on the end, and there's more adjustment than pretty much any other mesh chair that I can think of. We've looked at every component that's in a normal task chair and asked ourselves, why does that have to be there? Can we get rid of it? Can we make the chair lighter? Can we use fewer parts? Can we make it easier to put together? So a lot of the screw fits where you've got one part screw into another, um, we've done away with that and we've redesigned the seat assembly so it simply slides and clicks into place. And the guys in our factory absolutely love it because the chair is a dream to put together. It only takes about three minutes from one end of the production line to the other. We set out to design a, a mesh chair principally because we think the mesh chairs uh, look a little bit nicer. They also use less material, which is important, and they give you the benefits of, uh, of better breathability and perhaps a little bit better temperature control as well. The mesh that we've developed specifically for the do chair is another nice innovation for us. Normally, when you put a mesh onto a task chair, you have to create the tension by holding it on the chair me by mechanical means. The mesh that we've developed for the do actually shrinks to create that tension. So it's much simpler to use on our production lines. And we use shortwave infrared ovens to bring the mesh up to about 110 degrees for only about 20 seconds to create the tension whilst we're building the chair. A nice innovation is that we're able to embed the same shrinks fibers 
into the mesh, but a variant of the mesh which looks much more like a normal upholstery textile. This creates much better production efficiency and means that you're creating an upholstered aesthetic chair from much less material. The do chair back assembly was probably the toughest challenge um, in, in the design of the whole chair. The result is an assembly which is much, much fewer parts than a typical Tasha assembly. We use sophisticated CAD modelling techniques and also in-house um, finite element analysis which allows us to simulate the stress that would go into the part in use and, and how the part also deforms uh, and deflects in use as well before we actually manufacture the final object. The manufacturing of that back frame was also a huge challenge and meant that we were asking the very most of um, the fantastic supply partners that we have close to our factory in South Wales. The reduction in part count on the back assembly has been delivered by designing uh, a back frame which is one single part instead of uh, obviously uh, multiple bits and pieces and we've used the injection moulding process to help us deliver that. The complexity is therefore in the design of the injection mould tool rather than the actual part itself. An important feature for a lot of our customers is a chair that's easy to service while it's out in the field. So we've put a lot of thought into making sure that all of the bits of the chair that are likely to wear or get damaged um, are easily replaced. So we've got seat cushions that can clip in and out very easily. The mesh, uh, if that gets accidentally damaged, then that simply clips in and out uh, and can also be replaced in the field. By simplifying the chair's design and assembly, we're also able to offer additional packaging solutions. So the do chair can be shipped in a box which um, takes up approximately half the size of a normal task chair. And this helps reduce both the packaging, the environmental impact and the transportation costs. The assembly of the chair out of the export box can be completed in less than two minutes uh, and with just one simple tool. I'm really proud to say that the do chair is probably the best chair that we've ever done. And we've got a really fantastic design team at Orange Box that have helped make this happen. We've got an in-house team of industrial designers whose skills range from pure product design through engineering design. Uh, we're also lucky enough to have great graphic designers and um, new media designers within the team as well. So it's a, it's a, 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 a completely holistic process um, at Orange Box which gives us a great amount of control. As a design team, we're really pleased with the results of the Do Chair. It's a development which has delivered everything that we set out to achieve. And the product is lighter and more environmentally friendly um, than anything we've done before. It's really easy to, to use and to interact with, and it seems to be getting a great response from our customers. <laughs>